And our Lenny Sapal was here for virtually every step of jury selection, began with 1,800 people in a pool, now those 12 plus 10 alternates. And of course, here today for the beginning of this sentencing phase of the trial that could last for four months, according to legal experts. And Lenny joins us live with the first day of statements as families gathered and as Nicholas Cruz sat in the courtroom being faced by them and facing his ultimate fate in the months to come. Lenny? Good evening, Michael. Witness testimony paired with chilling video played out in the courtroom today, recounting the horrifying moments that unfolded on Valentine's Day four years ago. Nicholas Cruz had his head down low, his gaze focused below, downward as a teacher. Former students of Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School relived the terror from that deadly day. They remember hiding behind desks, trying to escape from the gunfire erupting through the freshman building. Families of the victims clenching onto one another as prosecutors played cell phone video of those violent moments in court. We were um, just sitting, kind of like sitting ducks. Um, we had no way to protect ourselves, no way to stand up for ourselves. And um, once we were all kind of in over by the um, door and away from the door, that's when he had shot into our classroom. Prosecutors maintain that Cruz's violent actions were cold and calculated. However, the defense plans on telling the jury that Cruz suffers from fetal alcohol disorder that led to developmental delays as a child. Now, today, the defense did not present their opening statement. They are setting their remarks aside for when they present their full case in about three weeks. And the only way Cruz will be sentenced to death is if all 12 jurors agree. Reporting live from the Broward County Courthouse, Lenny Sue Paul, WPTV News Channel 5.